That was Justin Burke reporting. Here's Brooke Landau. And Brooke, I guess we've got some fire danger of our own to worry about. Oh, yeah, some serious stuff. You know, we've had a three year drought in the state of California, and it's not looking any better for us for Southern California into the central part of the state as well. Into Northern California and the border of Oregon, they should be getting some rainfall by Wednesday. As early as Tuesday, we'll see some of these returns, Monday and Tuesday, rather, we'll see some of these returns on the radar. Uh, but that's just going to be Virgo in the upper levels of the atmosphere. It shouldn't make it to the ground until Wednesday. But you can see this big, wide open space through the central part of the state and into Southern California, which means we are going to have some very dry conditions and some fire danger of our own. Temperatures are on the rise. We were three degrees above what we would usually see this time of year here at Lindbergh Field and in m many of our coastal communities and temperatures above average into our inland valley areas and mountains and deserts as well uh, for today. We're going to see this become even more widespread here because temperatures are going to continue to rise over the next couple of days. Peaking on Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday, those will be the three hottest days. We've had an upper level low that is now pushing in northeast direction over Nevada. That is getting replaced as we speak with high pressure. High pressure is building right now and that's going to continue to do so, which means all of this tan area, that's a drier atmosphere, the moist weather and the moist conditions off to the east, well off to the east and to the south, we're going to continue to see a drying out of the atmosphere. High pressure creates compression. When you have compression, you get a drying out and that's what we're going to see in the addition to temperatures really rising. It is certainly not going to feel like fall, even though we'll be going into the first week of fall here. Temperatures over the next 24 hours will continue to climb. And then into Tuesday, as I said, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, the hottest temperatures. We will see 90s again in the inland valley areas, and we will see some 80s at the coast as we make our way into Wednesday and Thursday. So certainly don't take out those sweaters yet. Drying out of the atmosphere as much uh, moisture as we'll get us just that morning and late night fog at the coast extending into the inland valley areas as well. But that is not going to result in any drizzle or showers for us. At our ocean waters, a southwest swell, one to three footers, mainly ankle to waist high sets, and that's similar to what we experienced today. Fall equinox starts tomorrow, first full day of fall on Tuesday, but as I was saying, it's not going to feel like it with temperatures climbing into the 90s Wednesday and Thursday in those inland areas. By Friday, temperatures drop pretty significantly. You're certainly going to feel that again on Saturday, and then we will flatten out a little bit for the rest of the weekend, but we'll see temperatures closer to that season average or just below it for next weekend. Temperatures in the mountains and deserts also rising through Thursday, dropping a bit on Friday. And look at that on Sunday in our local mountain areas. We are going to see 66 degrees. That is certainly much, much closer to our fall weather. But keep in mind, again, temperatures on the rise, drying out of the atmosphere. We certainly don't want to see those winds kicking in or we're looking at some extreme fire danger. Derek? And this, or these are the next three months. These are the months where That's the fire right. danger is the highest. All right. Thank you, Brooke.